Hey everybody, Mobile Ranger here, back again with a new video, because we got the Season 26 patch notes, I was saying, I released the last ones last week, I'm on this time, this time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I looked through, I did record it originally, I just did not upload it for whatever reason. But... You know, it's... Okay, I just, just still talking about it. <coughs> As the investigation is still ongoing, the detectives will have to face an even larger threat. In Season 25, we introduced the first team originally reworked due to damage over time changes. We plan to continue the changes into this season, updating the scoundrels to cause even more trouble for Dorlock. The incredible Dorlock homes content with. Cool. Before I add anything in this patch notes, keep saying words. Where's the heartthrob changes? I'm fine that they didn't come out in December. Er, oh, excuse me. February. Cause, I don't know, what they said? You didn't do them last season. So if they're not here this season, are you just, are you not doing them? What's the point of doing a rework of the Valentine's Day theme in like May. You know? But I'm not crazy. Alright, don't worry. <coughs> As we're reworking the five tunes to the main cast for the scoundrels on the team, we don't plan to leave any tune behind as OG Nasty Canasta, who I'm not even sure. Is he a scoundrel at this point? I don't know. He's definitely actually an outlaw, but if he's scoundrel tagged, I don't know why. This is that one seven damage over time move he has, but it's a really stupid tag decision to me. But anyways, in the future, Witch Lizay and Mr. Sam will be moved to other teams that are more fitting than them. Okay, interesting. I don't know where those two would go. Nice. Well, the scoundrels call mayhem on the land, and the villains forward their devious plot in the skies. New intergalactic threat will make itself known. I mean, I feel like most of the, aren't no, literally every villain to in a space for, for sure. Transmission you received mentioned something about find. It's probably Marvin the Martian. Yeah, finally putting these Earthlings in their place. As for a second time, Marvin organizes an invasion. You mean like, I mean, second time, I mean, let's count the beginning of the game, but I don't. <laughs> this time at his helm, as the Martian Empire makes its way to the world of mayhem, we can only hope that Bugs and his pals are prepared. Okay, so, I guess this is a new Bugs tomb, unless they're reworking Martian Bugs, but I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, so, this is the new tag, I would assume. The Martian Empire arrives in force as an organized unit backed by advanced Martian technology, bringing in some very classic references. Okay. This is an offensive team based around its strong attackers that are fully enabled by their defender and support and should be capable of overwhelming unprepared defenses. It's a sneak peek at the theme passive. Okay, so they don't mention any reworks. Yeah, no, they probably would have mentioned it if there wasn't a. So, I'm going with we're good. Because Martian Empire will be all new tunes. Right, Martian Empire tunes gain cosmic force for two tunes. Whenever they are damaged or deal damage, up to five max. Each stack of cosmic force grants 10% life steal and 8% piercing. Okay. Uh, it's cool, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming their skills are gonna interact with this in some way because a, it's a you know special purple buff, but b, it's on the theme skill. Okay, 
in this season are not doing major balance changes. He said that last season. I don't think they know what major balance changes is. <laughs> I feel like it's just a specific skill reworks. Uh, I don't know if that's like a weird phrase, but I don't know if there's a specific concrete way to say, hey, we're specifically balancing this tune for itself. Since the damn reward time rework left a few tunes worse for wear, we'll be briefly, briefly visiting a few of them, as well as some recent releases like Lunar Dragon and with more changes, Shapeshifter Melissa. Okay, sure. We still have changes planned for the bullfighters to make up for their loss in power. I guess do the DOT changes, yeah. But as these are larger in scope, we're planning them for future seasons. Alright, so we got the scoundrels off the list, but we can add bullfighters right back onto them, even though like half the team doesn't even use damage over time. But okay. More importantly, we are readjusting damage over time so that it now more properly deals damage to the damage immunity status effects. It it was max health damage. It wasn't doing that before. What? So that it matches other effects that deal damage based on percentage of the enemy. Yeah, this like <laughs> this damage immunity is only weakness. It doesn't take max health damage. It didn't do that already? Oh, hey, Caesar. Leghorn. Okay, this skill. Okay, it just full stacks. Yeah, that damage we need is even stackable. Alright, cool. I'm assuming these are just gonna. Well, okay, this skill does more damage over time. This AoE doesn't seem to, though. But okay. Oh, stupid duck. Oh, this is actually kind of big for stupid duck. Because this is like bizarrely specific. <laughs> Thing, like. It was like, yeah, okay, still gained weakened for like the first turn, maybe. It's kind of unrelated, but it's actually uh, kind of nice. I mean, this is not particularly going to help Imperials. I mean, they might, might, uh, key emphasis, might, might beat Super Tunes. I don't know, but, well, no, because the cleanse is just going to, the cleanse is just going to proc Super Rabbit. I still stand by this. Those were not very good balance changes. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Uh, if this does one more damage over time, it's best I'm not reading this entire skill. Omegas has got some changes. Uh, I know this is like one of his passive abilities. Or something. He's, I don't know, the adventurer's got that weird, like, select after the turn thing going on. Oh, okay. Oh, I was lost. She was just doing what's the changes. Okay. So this inflicts that down now, which I think th this is probably a special. Uh, and then this inflicts damage over time. So it just kind of does 10 max health damage. <laughs> Uh, that technically does 15 over two turns, but or maybe three. I don't know. It's fine. I ain't gotta worry about it. Okay, so this does both, and this also does both. Uh, and this also gets piercing. This inflicts defense down, which is just not highlighted for some reason, like the rest of them are, but. Okay, that's about the same. And then it's just kind of... So I guess this is a way of pre-taunting. I mean, you could always put horns on her, but sure, game. You just have to have Magus. 
Okay. Oh, so the text correction is the only thing that's going on here. Mechanically, it was already working like described here. Critical damage down increase. Uh, okay, so I got an extra crit damage that has been reworded. Start a battle until these tombs turns. Uh, inflict all enemies with three critical chance down. For two turns, gaining three defensive. And of course, ascended, but you know, we can only apply at the start of battle. And this tomb lacks taunt and is inca incapacitated. Gain taunt for the rest of the battle. Oh, so this did not work like this. What? Yeah, okay. Alright, game. Don't go worry about it. So, I guess it's got a very mild buff, but otherwise it's functionally the same. That's the way it did. It. Okay. As the scoundrels have been a larger target as we were, it's all fit to move some of the members of the theme that weren't used to new homes. The first one to be part will be OG Nath Knasa will make his way to the other troublemaker, the outlaws. Okay, yeah, so that makes complete sense. I don't know really why it's, why it's there. <laughs> For the rework, we still have the, we still left them entirely damage over time focused team with an emphasis on stacking high amounts of this debuff on enemies. Drug of powerful chaining passives. This less <laughs> As such, they should feel very familiar to their pre rework form. I'll be a bit slower, but much more resilient. Okay. I'll argue with you that's not strictly what the team would have needed. They kind of blew chunks a little. But. If they could actually take a hit without <laughs> perishing instantly, uh, then they might be fine. They're moving some of the power of Ronin Knesset's Hungry Blade to a new theme passive, as you can see below. Alright, cool. It's fine. Yeah, you didn't really need to do that, but at the same time, if you can have a new not terrible leadership skill, then... Whatever, I guess. Of course, I mean, they got reworks. They might actually deal damage. If the pointlessness of the damage over time might be moot pointlessness of the skill, I should say, because old scoundrels, it pretty much didn't even matter, because they didn't deal damage. It was just give them that stunned amount of DOT and hope things worked out. And to be fair, usually they did, so and what do I know? Okay, so this is two damage over time now. This has a warm-up, I guess. Sure. Alright, warm up increase the one. Deal damage. Yeah, same amount of damage. Uh, this is the same, although it does less of the max health. Okay, and then as an additional effect here, if this defeats them, all stack up damage over time up to 10. Okay, I don't know why it's the limit. It's like evil grant, not evil granny, <laughs> zombie granny's rotting spread does not have that issue, and these are basically the same effect at this point. <laughs> they had a randomly inflicted on the remaining enemies. Alright, this is different. I mean, it's the stun now, start battle, it just tends, alright, same amount. Then for each four damage over time on the enemy team, a 10% chance to silence random enemy. I mean, silence is nice. You can use specials, so they can cleanse, unless, there's, unless it's passive. Okay. Alright, this, this is a very nice change. It's just that up now. We're, just, we're not dealing with any of this and it's nice for them because, you know, it's just like, because before, this is steal four buffs and it was only buffs. So he would ascend, like, I mean, it depended on the battle. But what it felt like, it was that he had a 100% chance to steal taunt and die. So it just, 
I kind of didn't want to use this move. Um, and the way it looks now, I was just stood up now, which works. You know, this would have been non-taunt buffs. This was a rework like two years ago, but fine by me. It's not like dodge chance or counter chance are really an issue for the damage over time team. It's pretty transistent of being attacked <laughs> skill. It doesn't turn me to removal. The damage over time lasts longer. It's a little bit less of it. That's some additional silence synergy, so maybe they're, they're going for silence. I have no idea. Okay. Hold on. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Okay, got it. So, so they flipped things around a little. So, the old, frankly awful leadership. Yeah, it had a while in battle effect. Oh, wow, wow, oh my god, why would they care? Okay, so, you know, like, Death Sentence was essentially the reason you use scoundrels. Uh,. Ever since the great DOT split, which honestly they probably could have not adjusted, but yeah, it's probably easier just to have two separate damage over time teams. I'm sure. Uh, so they changed this skill, which was the uh, basically the legendary skill that would just was a passive on him. They put it here. Oh, it's a cap now, which is. A little cringe, but I suppose they're gonna be an actual team now, not just like a running gag. I mean, this is all damage over time team, and you know, take 10 seconds to go on the Discord tune feedback page. Uh, I don't know, you know, the, the scoundrels having a the scoundrels villains haven't been doing so hot, but you know. And I can attest that to him, 45 villains, they're, they're kind of whatever. Uh, the scoundrels honestly might do better. Might just be me, but... Might be better off. <laughs> well, let's see what the rest of the reworks are. So, okay, while well, this tune remains in battle and has a scoundrel ally, enemies with three more damage over time have... Minus 15% speed. Alright, that's a nice little thing. I guess, no, actually, you probably, I was gonna say, because, like, realistically, as a damage over time team, you would be able to get away with cycling turns, like, for your enemy, because that's how you deal damage to them with damage over time, but if the effect is weaker than it used to be, be you probably don't want to give the enemy turns, generally, this is thinking, like, cleanse. Ah, uh, but also, you have to meet this theme passive, because you're presumably not going to be dealing with, like, you know, 40 turn <laughs> DOT the team used to have. So you actually do probably want to roll them all back. Okay, so this is, yeah, the, you know, the... <laughs> Legendary skills are arguably where it's supposed to be. Alright, while an alliance with the scoundrel team is plus 10% stats, all students placed on offense and isn't incapacitated the first time any enemy becomes stunned, heal all scoundrel team members for 20% max health. Cool, Watch Doctor has some better numbers, especially these are a lot better numbers. So kind of meanderingly slow, but I think she has taunt or hasty. Not sure. Yeah, I don't know. She's really slow, but that might be on purpose. 
it is on purpose actually because I'm looking at this skill. Alright, we'll get there in a second. So this is the basic, which does 20. <laughs> and this attack has ignore defense and life steal. Coolio, I guess. Taunt. And four defense up. Alright, one more defense up. Healing for 20% max health. And ceiling four defense up for each enemy. This is an interestingly word skill before. While in alliance, always heal extra for each damage over time on the enemy team. Very cool. Oh yeah, it's the mass silence on her. I forgot the two witch hazels were on this team. <laughs> Probably explains the silence synergy. Well, synergy, yeah, I mean, it's this one. And he just he can inflict silence himself with this one. I'm gonna assume this is gonna be sound synergy. Yeah, so each enemy's turn is tune as taunt, inflict them with damage over time for five turns. Yeah, yeah, so it's roughly the same. It has a clause now, but yeah, that mass silence. It's the same. Like debuff resistance now, it's nice. Right. Uh, Tenacity on scoundrels will probably do the same thing, but... Eh. Ah, here it is. Hasty 6. Yep, okay, so she's gonna go first. I can pomp the taunt and sit behind your 131 speed <laughs> forever. At the start of battles, tune gains 10% max health for each scoundrel ally. That's nice. I mean, it's the same tank effect. Uh, Devil Dog used to have. I mean, well, Maybe he still has it, I have no idea. <laughs> While Stoon remains in battle, all scoundrel team members have 20% attack. Okay, so now also targets her, and it's also now capitalized properly. Very nice. I was gonna complain. And all silence enemies have minus 15% attack. Okay, yeah, okay, so there's some small silence energy. They become weaker. Same amount of damage. <sighs> if let's stat up now. As bonus alliance war effect. Cool. Um, this is not random now, it's just four. That's nice. I love not the completely random spread of effects. Attack down to defense down for three turns on all enemy. What was the turn limit on this before? Is it just one? I can see how they changed it. <laughs> for each scoundrel ally, I can't speed up. Alright, cool. What the hell am I looking at? This is a two warm up. It does 85%. It does 80% damage now. How? Into the. Oh. I suppose, I suppose that might be an effect they are keeping in mind on. This doesn't crit, I mean, with 10, let me keep in mind, you have to have 10 damage over time to do this. Oh, sorry, each enemy has to have 10 damage over time to do this. I mean, you probably want to wait, but... Oh, it's three turns of silence on this. Alright, that, that might actually be, be why. I mean, there's a lot of random. I mean, there's not a lot of random effects on this. There's a lot of effects on this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you look at this for this damage. It seems unnecessary, but I guess it you can do up to 130. But it's it's kind of inconsistent. It'll probably do 110 at best. <laughs> Or 110 on average, I should say. You would obviously do 130 on best. Mm. It's not like the team with 5 turn damage over... <coughs> Excuse me, the team with 5 turn damage over time is going to 
be short damage over time for this effect to proc. Okay, I'll notice two of damage gain two random stat up and also incapacitated. Flip a random stat up, a special stat up on the attacking enemy. That's nice. I mean, which Haze is one of those ancient beta tunes, so. Yeah, this. the skill is. words. Yeah, it's a very beta way of saying flip positive, flip buffs. Um. <laughs> Four speed, let's go. Thank you, Big Kahuna. Alright, this effect is different. It's no longer just direct damage, it's 95, but inflicts DOT on everybody, so that's nice. This skill is a warm up. Sure. When it flips buffs now, which is nice. I guess that's better than removing them. And it flex damage over time. Well, that's a, that's a stat up. Now, the old effect was probably better. Like, you get changing it to flip because. Like, you wouldn't want your just random AoE to pick taunt and pick you die. Um, like, yeah, that, that, that'd be annoying. <laughs> uh, but I was gonna say, like, at least he can flip, you know. Because old problem with his skill. If it hit counter chance, I, I don't know, it would just kind of over it for Big Kahuna. Like, he'd be at 10 HP. <laughs> so I thought they were going to fix that, but no, they actually made the problem worse. Because they'll say, oh, flip the three counter chance up to counter chance down. That's, that's pretty good. Nope. Not on this team. <laughs> not have a chance at all. Um, I'm that, sorry, that was one turn. What are the two, what are the devs who made Pick Kahuna doing? My god. <laughs> that was <laughs> one turn. Why? Okay, that's, it's fine. It's fine. Extra heal power to exist in buffs. It's what you like to hear. Yeah, at the beginning about yeah, because this is, is about the same. Now let's cleanse three random stat down. Uh, there's a li unless incapacitated clause, which uh, is about expected. Those two remains in battle well. While any enemy has three more damage over time, scoundrel team members the max health. Okay, so this is basically the same. It's just he has to live to do it. But you do have an existent taunter now, so <laughs> you know you have to have fun. Oh, uh, sorry, this is the big guy. Yeah, the skill does not just, they don't have to have a, a different debuff first, which is nice. Uh, let's this skill, it's just four now, which is cool. Oh no, sorry, he just had plus 30% max health. Very smart. <laughs> Alright, he gets extra defense and alliance wars. Uh, ooh, cooldown reduction on this, which is nice. Uh, move heal of time, that's the same. Oh, it does two damage over time, though. It's uh, very unfortunate. Well, I guess it's a cool, two cooldown move. On the next two turns, all enemies have 100% resistance to heal over time, yeah. Although you. We didn't capitalize that one, right? I mean, now it's hasty. I mean, I guess you're probably going to be using him. 
I guess their idea is use him instead of Witch Hazel. I admittedly, if I'm gonna build this team, I might, cause, cause like. But then again, Witch Doctor probably makes more sense with the rest of the team. Cause you're probably gonna be using. Cause, right, like, yeah, Nasty Kanasa is getting moved out of this team. So you're probably gonna be using regular Witch Hazel. So combined with that and the silence energy on the other guy, you'd probably be better off using Witch Doctor. Uh, Cause like his DOT spread is worse now. That's kind of why you want to use him. Kahuna's DOT spread is also on cooldown, so. Yeah, uh, a mystery. I mean, definitely, you probably want to use the healer if you're using this team, so that's. Real hoot and holler. Alright, let's look at Mr. Canast. That is a lot. That seems like a lot of damage. That is 113 extra damage. Alrighty. Forgot how bad Nasty Canasta was. <laughs> and hit target enemy for total 100% damage. The two defense down. If the target's below 50. Oh, oh. So that's how this works. That. What a fool man. Okay. Yes, the student. <laughs> Interesting set of skills. He's immune to damage over time and while he remains in battle. And team members attacks against enemies below 50% max health has extra crit damage. So I guess they're treating this as some sort of extra effect on him. It's a below max health threshold thing. Is iron yeah, iron guts changed. It not have the random claws that it did before. Is there any particular reason he operated like this? <laughs> okay, this is kind of an unusual. So it's it's well, it's fine. All right, silence target enemy. Yeah, this is basically the same. Well, inflict silence now. That enemy is defeated before the end of his next turn, except the cooldown on its skill. In Excuse me, the skill is a little lame as damage over time, but why does he inflict silence now? I mean, I guess the, the, the team could use it, but he's outlaw. It's whatever. <laughs> I, I realize I don't particularly care. Alright, unless incapacitated whenever an enemy is defeated. Okay, no team members attack up for two, three attack up for two turns. Okay, so that's nice. So everybody gets the benefit. Okay, and all outlaw team members twenty percent turn meter. While an alliance, which triggers the first time any enemy falls below fifty percent max health as well. Sure. Why are these skills all out of order? I mean, maybe this is the order they unlock in, but why would you do it that way? Hit target enemy six times for a total of 120% damage, inflicting defense down or speed down with each hit. This is 10% piercing, critical chance, or critical damage for each outlaw ally. So it's 30% piercing, 30% crit chance, 30% critical damage, essentially. Assuming everybody's alive. That's better, I mean, you keep the defense down synergy, it's not like outlaws don't have it. I mean, he himself can inflict it, but you know it, it's probably better to skill do things. Yeah, that's that's a lot of debuffs. That's like the amount of debuffs Joe Monday now gives. So I'm fine with that. All right. Well, 
but it's the, the end of the patch notes. There's still still no heartthrob. I mean, these regular balance changes are nice. Uh, it's only like new game version to fix like one bug. Cool. I hope bullfighters will feel fun afterwards. <laughs> After their rework, because like, I haven't, like, still, still haven't done it, and I could go back to season 24 patch notes. They'll be there. They're still there. Like, next seasons, what does that mean? Did you know you weren't gonna do it for like three months? He has a. Uh, what's up with that? Alright, well I just realized I closed the tab uh, on the mobile rager and that's all folks.